All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of CX Aerospace Station Parts Pack, which is being made by forum user CXG2827. And what this glorious little parts pack looks to add into the game is a whole selection of station parts, which I've been meaning to look at for ages. This is another one of those mods I've been meaning to take a look at for a while but just haven't had the chance and thought it was a good time to take a look at it now because pretty recently about two weeks ago it was updated to a version 0 0.07 and uh, with that new version came a whole load of new IVAs for the various parts for building stations and well I love a good space station I love internal views for space stations, so here we go. Let's jump right on into the VAB and have a gander at all of the parts that make this mod possible. Now, let's grab our usual Mark 1 command pod for size comparison's sake and uh, scroll up a little bit. Some of the parts are a little large, uh, but not too big. And the vast majority of the parts are down here in utility. Now, we do have two parts in structural, but they need uh, the parts in utility to actually make sense. So, let's start off here with the 2 meter gym hub. Now, these are all station parts, so they all start at the, well, they all start and end at the 2 meter size. It would be interesting to have some larger or perhaps smaller ones, but for now, all the different modules that we have here are 2 meters in size, and the first one is the 2 meter gym hub. A very, very big beautiful looking space station module uh, looks you know, pretty similar to the stuff that they have in the real world but of course with that stock alike Kerbal feel to it a very very cool indeed I love the detailing on it got the good handrails the beautiful detailing of the actual exterior of the module still got the little little window there and overall just a very very cool beautiful looking design of course it is a station module so it isn't exactly the most complicated model in the world but for what it is, it is quite good and quite well textured. I do enjoy it. And the same can be said for all of these parts. So I won't reiterate myself on that anymore. And uh, yes, this is a gym habitat module, which of course has inside of it a lovely exercise bike which we'll get a good chance to see once we are up in space to take a look at these firsthand. Now the next module that we have is the 2 meter nap hab, which is a small sleeping module. Now you can see here that on it we have uh, the one main connector over there, and then we have a connector on the bottom and, t and side over here. And I actually should point out before I move further that on this one, of course, it is just attachment points on the top and bottom of this one. But yes, on this we have a nice little extra side attachment. And a good thing to note here, which took me a little bit longer than I'd care to admit, uh, these rectangular bits here, these attachment points, are where you actually want to attach other modules for this space station modules to, because that is the hatch for this module to go to another module. So say on the bottom here, Yes, there is an attachment point, and you could just go and hook a gym module right to the bottom, but it wouldn't actually be connected via a hatch, which isn't too big of a deal for the most part in this game, but for people who like their stations to make a bit more sense, it's, it's nice having the hatch actually match up with another hatch on the other side. So for instance, on uh, modules like this one, we have no little rectangle up at the top, we have no rectangle on the bottom, so this one actually is meant to be attached to your station, like so, so that the two sections match up with a hatch. A very good thing to note for the future, because you do have some of these modules here, like this one, who are best attached from the side. The gym one here has only one a hatch point which is just right there on the bottom it is just a normal attachment point no hatch for uh, you know movement between modules so moving on to the next one another two meter node here which uh, is quite cool because it is a node connector very similar in usage to say this standard Rocco Max version but this has an interior 
which I really, really like that fact. Even though it is just a, a node for connecting other habitat modules too, it still has an interior. It's that little extra mile that uh, this mod goes to that really, really sets it apart for me and why I really, really do like this. Now, this one does have, on every side of it, hatches for connecting two other modules. So we've got it on the top, we've got it on the bottom, and we have it on all four sides. So you can attach uh, pretty basically anything you want to uh, this central module and it'll work just fine. Now the next one we have is a 2 meter sleep habitat, which is just a whole selection of beds. It does have the attachment point, or the, uh, oh boy, the, the hatch, there's the word, the hatch on the top there. Uh, we also have one on the bottom, and we have three hatches on the side. We don't have one here, so it is just a three-way one on the uh, central part of uh, this module. Uh, but yes, uh, still interesting though that you can then split off in three different directions from here. And of course it has a full interior where uh, mainly set for beds. It is a sleep habitat after all. Now the next one we have is another sleep habitat, but you'll notice on this one, hatch on the top, hatch on the bottom, no hatches around the side. It is made to be a, a long module to extend the size of your station. So a no different attachment points along the side for splitting things off. And again, it's a sleep one, so uh, it's, it's just chock full of beds. Now the next part we have is another sleep habitat module. <laughs> a lot of places for your Kerbals to sleep in this mod. And we do not have an attachment point or a hatch on the top nor do we have it on the bottom, but we do have three of them on the sides. So this one is meant to be sort of uh, sideways, much as with uh, this one up here, and then go off in two directions, either here or here. And then the next module we have is a yet another sleep habitat module. No attachment point on the side. Let's just go ahead and put it sideways like that. So none on the top or bottom, the technical top or bottoms, but we do have just that one hatch here. So no other hatches. So this would be sort of an end point for your station. Very cool. Now, all of these I haven't mentioned up until now. All of them do have electric charge and monopropellant within them in various sizes and quantities, uh, except for the, f uh, the node here, which goes off in every direction. That one just has electrical charge. Now let's actually get this baby back out because, well, I like this part. And this is good for explaining our next bit. Now we have two more parts here, which are common birthing mechanisms. These are docking ports specifically designed to dock these modules together with other modules. Because of course you're probably not gonna launch up an entire space station in one shot. You're gonna have to send up multiple missions and dock the parts with the station one by one. And these are, well, docking ports specifically made for this. You have an active and a passive. And if we pop one on here, very, very cool little docking ports. I really do like the design of these and notice these little guiding prongs. I don't know what the technical name is for those, but guiding prongs sounds good to me. And that's on one side, and so on your other module that you then come to dock with the station, you'd put its uh, sister pair here. Notice that the prongs are in different locations, perfectly designed to fit together. So that these, you know, have a good, strong, tight bond between the two. And you can see here that the docking nodes have a capture range of 0 0.06 and an undock ejection force of 10. That is the same on both. And yeah, it's just, it's a nice little bit of design there that allows you to uh, basically have there we go. Docking ports that, you know, work well together rather than some strange universal thing like these. You have them that are, you know, sort of like a male-female plugs for electronics. You'd have one in your main station and one with the new part that you're sending, sending up to the station to dock with, and it works quite nicely. And I, I just, I love the design of the guiding, again, guiding prongs. I really wish I knew the proper word for that that are meant to go together with one another. It's quite cool. You even have these little internal bits right here, these little straight bits 
where the which would go in between these two prongs here. A very cool design, very wonderful. I do like it. Now on these other two nodes, what we have in uh, structural that I mentioned earlier are two meter node covers, and these are for if you don't want one of these hatches showing. So if you have your final design for your space station and you don't want extra hatches because you're never going to attach anything else to them, you can cover up these hatches, hold on a moment, with these. Now that we have two different ones because there's two different styles of exteriors on these stations. Now this one of course is using the uh, sort of boxes with a cross in them. These are the sort of box, well, box with a cross in them, but just up and down rather than uh, at an angle. And you just have the two different designs here. Oh god, let's get this thing on. There we go. So that you can more easily hide these things. Now this four-way node, it, it, it kind of still shows because this is meant to be going in all four directions. But on the other modules, it's uh, much nicer because it does really hide these things quite well. Let's actually grab one of them real quick just to show that off because I just realized how different the texturing is on this one compared to most of the other parts. So let's grab this uh, sleep module here, which you can see has this cross design. And if we grab this one... That is not the right one, <laughs> which I must admit, this is the kind of an annoying part about this mod, or not this mod, but this specific part, uh, because you kind of spend a lot of time just trying to figure out which one goes where, or maybe, maybe that was right, and I, oh no, I think it was uh, my stupid fault. There we go, I didn't have alt press down for it to attach to the node properly. But yeah, so just depending on what the design is of the exterior, you either use this cover, which matches with this one, or this cover, which doesn't, because you can see these main lines here don't match up with these lines here and here, uh, but they do over here. So it's just, a, you know, you gotta find the right part for uh, covering up that specific module. And we do still have one more part in here. Oh, no, wrong tab. In utility over on page two, we do have a pressurized mating adapter. And this is to uh, basically be used as a method of converting from these sort of large size docking ports to your smaller docking ports that you may have on, say, perhaps your uh, crew capsule that's coming up to bring the new crew to the ship. And so, yes, you have a smaller docking port here to then dock with all works out quite nicely and quite beautifully and uh, an interesting design to it I, I do like the sort of a uh, catty cornered shape to it and of course uh, the difference in coloring now it's not really meant to be put onto one of these side bits like this it'd probably go much better up here but nonetheless a cool part indeed so let's exit out of here as that is all the parts and let's head up into space where i've built a really crappy space station now remember what i said about those uh, gray hatches are how you tell where the different modules connect together yeah i didn't follow that instruction on this station i just kind of threw this thing together as you know, just to show off the station really quickly i didn't even really cover all of these little bits so it's uh yeah not the not the prettiest station in the world but it works for showing off all the internal modules so let's grab jebediah and of course i still have installed on this particular save the glorious enhanced iva so all i have to do is hit y and there we go we are now moving around the ship in a first person view so let's head back into the first module and this is just glorious. This is the first habitation module here. Let's move a bit more in so we're not f technically still in space. Boom, there we go. We've got a glorious looking hatch. Uh, this is this is why I love this mod, these gorgeous, gorgeous interiors. We've got one of our Kerbals just sort of sitting there on the uh, deck. And yeah, we've got these lovely beds, which are uh, quite, nice, quite, quite nice and cozy, perfect for your Kerbals. Beautiful, beautiful beautiful detailing on all of this we've got the cool you know ladders for going up into the other docking port up there of course this Kerbal's blocking that door but oh well we're gonna kind of be moving through this way and yeah I just I absolutely love the design of these things it's just so much detail gone into the interiors of this which is uh 
why I really love this mod, especially with the enhanced IVA mod that we are using right now. It's just so cool to fly through the ship. Now, the next one we have is that, f uh, oh god, not five-way, it's a six-way node. As I said, even though it is a node for just connecting loads of bits into the station, it has a freaking interior, and it is gorgeous. So that's where we came from, is sort of float your way down and uh, then go into your different directions for different parts of the ship. So let's head uh, this way first. And this is yet another habitat module. Once again, we have a uh, nice little ladder going up. It's a bit smaller than the one we were in at first, but nonetheless, a very, very nice module. So let's head back in here and then go to this one. Yet another habitat module, but again, remember, they have the different uh, different uh, attachment points to them, etc. So this, we're kind of... We're kind of sideways right now, but it works. And we got a lovely bed at the end here, a very nice. Oh yeah, and remember, like I said, I didn't actually pay attention to where I put the uh, <laughs> the hatches. So we're flying through this bed to get back into here and then into yet another habitat module. We have uh, Val over there taking a little nap, though she seems quite excited for that nap. Well, probably you would be too if you had to work with Jeb. And uh, yeah, another just beautiful little habitat module. I do quite like the design. It's just, it's just gorgeous. So much detail gone into it. Back through the bed. <laughs> and then this one, aha, here's, here's the good stuff. This is the gym module, which is a fairly recent addition to the mod. And yeah, it's, it's gym. We got the little exercise bike here. And of course it's curb strong. And on the TV, we've got Aliens. <laughs> and of course, you can look out the lovely hatch while you're riding your bicycle and getting your exercise on. And uh, it does come with a shower that you cannot go into, but um, the lavatory here, you can. And in fact, there's a Kerbal in there. So um, let's barge in on Bob. Hi, Bob. <laughs> You can uh, sit a Kerbal in the lavatory there, and apparently the Kerbals love reading Hustler, which, uh, oh boy, oh boy. Push button to launch payload. I, oh, this is wrong. What does this say? I haven't actually read this before. Operational instructions. Okay, so it's just how to use the toilet. Lovely, lovely. All right, let's, let's leave Bob to it. <laughs> Yes, that's a, a weird seat. It took me forever to figure that out. I came in here because I was like, I know I put someone in the gym. And then I went to fly outside real quick and went through the lavatory and saw Bob. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh god, I'm turned around now. We may have to go outside for the last module. And, yep, there's the last module. There we go. Just yet another habitat module, uh, but with the different attachment points in uh, just a beautiful, beautiful little design. I really, really do love these. And there are a lot of cool station parts yet to be made. The mod maker is hoping to add in uh, things like medical bays, different size gyms, more different sizes of habitat modules, an aeroponics module, so just all sorts of cool parts. And it's, it's exciting. I, I really just love the look and feel of these things and can't wait to explore more modules as development moves forward. Uh, but yes, that is really it for this mod. I hope you all have enjoyed it today. And of course, if you would like to take a look at this mod for yourself, you can download it from the link in the description. And I definitely would say to go and check it out. These parts are just gorgeous. They are so wonderfully done, especially the interiors. As I said, I am a sucker for these interiors. They are just gorgeous. But yes, if you do give it a try and uh, make any cool, interesting stations, I would love to see them. So tweet me a pic or Google Plus or whatever, social media, etc. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today, my friends, and that you come back for the next when we will hopefully be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until then, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Hi, Bill. How's it going? Probably don't want to sit in front of that hatch just in case it blows, man. Yeah, he's, he's not going to listen. Later, folks!